are going to continue class. We are going to continue our second meeting with Patricia. I have already sent the materials on our WhatsApp group. For today, after the explanation from... Patricia, you are going to, there will be six brick class. Choose the room based on the group that, uh, the name for your group, for everyone. For example, if you, if you belong to group one, it means that you should join room one. Is it clear, students? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Miss Patricia, can we start now? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. So, uh, let me share my screen with you. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me okay, everyone? Yes. Okay, Good. clear. I can hear you clearly. Perfect, perfect. Um, okay, last week, uh, um, Gentry or Sophie, can you um, make me host so I can share my screen? Oh, yeah, Pak Arif, oh, bisa yeah. dijadikan Pak host. Arif, uh -huh. screen. Mm -hmm. Ya, ini apa? Lempet pengaturan dijadikan host, pengaturan. host. Uh -huh. jadi biar or bisa dia share screen or, or co-host, okay, uh, atau co-host juga bisa. Alright, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here again. And thank you for meeting me at 1 p.m. instead of 2 p.m. So thank you. <laughs> um, last class, yeah, we talked about... Do you remember what we did? Do you remember what we talked about last class? No? Okay, let me... Um, sorry, wait. Speaking in professional context, yes, we talked about mainly presentations. Um, and today we are going to talk about the body of our presentations. And just bear in mind that the body, uh, in the body, we are going to talk about, oh, sorry, I don't know why my presentation goes up and down. Anyway, uh, that presentations matters, that public speaking matters and business uh, in academic or in other contexts matter, okay? So it's really important that you pay close attention to this. All right, um, last class, I asked you to watch a video on Steve Jobs, remember? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, perfect. I didn't, um, have you watched the video? Have you enjoyed it? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, perfect. So I would like you to talk about the last part where you were supposed to make notes on the following aspects of having a strong start, organizing a structure, signposting the transitions, the transitions from one topic to another, uh, use visuals and the preparation. So, what do you think about Steve Jobs' presentation?
did you like it? Can you can you write on the chat? Did you like it? Yes, no. It was like uh oh good. Uh, according to me, Step Job yeah. presentation about the iPhone is the most amazing presentation I've ever watched. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what can you get from this presentation? Maybe learn something that you can put in your future presentations. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, well, starting from the way he presents the material and the delivery of information was a very clear and neatly arranged step by step. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, let's discuss his body language in that presentation. Steph Jobs' body language didn't seem to exaggerate just necessary, but managed to attract the attention of his audience to continue to pay attention to what he said. Mm -hmm. His facial expression and intonation of speech really confines the audience that the information he broke about the iPhone 1 was very important to listen to. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me something. Did he have a strong start? Uh, <laughs> yes, I think so. Uh-huh, okay. What about the use of visuals, for example? Did he use the visuals? You, you mm. can write, if you, if you don't want to um, unmute yourself, you can say yes or no on the chat box, yeah? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, everybody, yeah? Okay, not only you. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to be this interactive so you can participate, please, or chat box. If you're shy and you don't want to speak, just use the chat box. Yes, no, yeah. Okay, today we are going to talk about this, some of the techniques that he used to make an impact and, um, could you please write on the chat box, which techniques do you think he used in terms of language and body and voice? Okay. Can, can you hear me okay? Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm hearing a, a background noise. Okay. Um, yeah, I can hear it. So, um, I was saying, can you write, can you write on the chat book, please, people? Um, what techniques do you think he uses or he used to make an impact on his presentation? Which ones have you ticked? Just, just write a few words on the chat box, please. I would like to know your opinion. Yeah, there is the chat box. Yes, okay. We have uh, an answer yeah, then... here. You should write it. What about okay. other? Please write down. Oh. I sorry, I can hear a uh, horrible noise. Well, uh, the boys, yes, exactly. Very good. repetition what about questions what about um, stay, staying or walking maybe walking yes Using hand gestures, very good. He's using hand gestures, very good. When he explains, very good. That's why 
hand gestures are extremely important as well. Yeah. Uh, somebody says walk. Yeah, he walks on the stage. Yes. Good. Um, uh, let me see. Hand gestures. Okay. Speaking slowly and then fast. Okay. Good. Right. Okay. Very good. Well, so today we are going to talk about some of these techniques. Okay. And um, okay. Oh, here we have some more questions. Pausing for dramatic effect. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Speaking slowly and then fast and then go back. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, <clears throat> as uh, Lutfi, Lutfi Tayum, I think I, I said this correct. And please correct me if I don't say it correctly, um, has one of the most effective presentations ever. He was a genius. Yeah. Uh, he says detailed during presentation and relaxed. Yeah, he felt relaxed, like he was in his house, but he was talking to an audience of maybe 1,000 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Very good. All right, let's start um, with my presentation. Uh, obviously, it's well, maybe it's, I'm not Steve Jobs, yes, but uh, well, I'm trying to do my best, guys, here, okay? All right. Okay, so today, as I said, we are going to talk about the body. Last week, we talked about a jump start, something that creates an impact, okay? And just remember that presentation matters, speaking, or public speaking matters, and business and or academic communication also matters, okay? So I have a question for you. This is a starfish, yeah? So what does a starfish have to do with effective oral communication. I'm going to give you one minute to think what a starfish, yeah, an animal, have to do with effective oral communication. And can you please write your ideas on the chat box? Doesn't matter, here we don't have any right or wrong answer, okay? You can use your imagination, your creativity. Yeah, just give you a minute. Think about it and write it down, write down your ideas on the chat box, please. Any ideas? No? No ideas? A starfish, you know, an animal that lives in the sea. Uh -huh. What does a starfish have to do with effective communication? No, no ideas? Okay, we have some ideas here. Release chemicals, okay, releasing chemicals, okay, here we go, yeah, more or less, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, thank you very much for your ideas, any other? If you want to speak, you can speak, uh -huh. or chat box, as you wish, one more, two more ideas? No? Um, okay, I, I'm here, ma'am. My name yeah. is Bella Pornesi. I'm trying to think that when a starfish does do uh, have to do for effective oral communication, maybe they will do same as like a uh, dolphin. They sounding the signal with a... Uh, there is some like 
like some touching each other, maybe like some end with the antenna. Uh huh. Okay. And then, okay. Uh huh. Yes. Come on. Go on. Maybe maybe that's all from me. Man. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Bella. Right. Somebody says, um, Salzabilla says, communicate through chemical signals. All right. Okay. So you're getting there. Um, uh, okay. Sorry. I need to admit some people here. Okay. Wait a second. Ooh, I don't know how to admit them. Right. Um, okay. Well, let me tell you, as Tom standing like a fish like a starfish sorry like this it's the cure for public speaking jitters when you feel nervous anxious anxious anxiety because you have something important if you're worried about a job interview maybe in the future or a meeting with your professor or a presentation two minutes of this spreading your arms and legs pretending to be a starfish could be the answer to lower your anxiety okay you may say oh patricia come on you is you it's ridiculous what you're saying but no scientifics have done a research okay and suggest that adopting this posture yeah will give you will make you feel powerful, okay? And that can make a difference between a success or a failure in, in an important event. So whenever you have an exam, whenever you have a meeting, whenever you have a presentation at university, try to do this for two minutes. Breathe in, breathe out, two minutes. And then you will feel empowerful, yes? And say, so it's a way to control your, the, your body language, a way of control your non-verbal cues, and this could be your solution, okay? So if you have any questions, please, do you have any questions? If not, then we move on. Any questions? Um, Ma'am? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I want to ask something. So that's that gesture of or posture of starfish make us for like so releasing the problem that we attach in anxiety for presenting something. Is it right? Yes, exactly. Oh, obviously, it's not magical. Yes. And you need to practice this. The more you do it, the more you will feel relaxed before an so, important event okay so we we take that posture to to um i mean like we trying to express uh trying to get released from the anxiety that we got exactly. from event yes okay. exactly you stand up like a starfish like this with your legs spread and your arms up in the air yeah you breathe in and out, in and out for two minutes only before this important event. And some people say the chemicals, yeah, the chemicals in your body go up and down. And there is a message in your brain saying that you can do it, that you have the power to do it. Okay. Um, in one of your worksheets that I that are for today, you have the video of a scientist called Cuddy Adams, I think it's, she's called, um, and she explained it scientifically. So please do watch the video. It's about the video is about three minutes only, and she goes on and on about the starfish posture and position. So I think it's very interesting. I've done it myself several times before important events and I feel more in control so in order to believe in it you have to try it okay so try to do it and and you, then you can tell me how you feel about it before an important event okay I think Pfizer asked me the other day about that how um 
how to deal with the jitters and the anxiety of an important event. Okay, just starfish and breathing. Huh? It's important to breathe. Okay, bring in and out. Okay, any other question? No? All right, let's move on. Okay, today I would like you to talk about the rule of three in your presentations or in your public speaking or in a meeting with a professor or something important that you need to communicate. And what does that mean? Any idea on the rule of three? No? No, okay, please write it down, no? Okay, it's very simple. The rule of three is that people, we, the audience, tend to remember lists of three things. Think about how you learn, yeah? We remember list of three things. So it's very important when you structure your presentation around three things. Usually in our presentations or our speech, we have a beginning, the middle and the end. So it's three things. So knowing all these and, and knowing that the audience will only remember three things from your presentation, plan it in advance, yeah? So before you start your presentation, think about or plan about three key messages that you want to uh, tell the audience, okay? These three messages, maybe in each part of your presentation. Three messages at the beginning, three messages at the, in the middle, and three messages at the end, okay? So think about this. Um, we always used, think about the past, yeah? List of threes have been used for many, many years till the present day, yes? It's, they are particularly, particularly used by politicians and advertisers who know the value of using the rule of three to sell their ideas. For example, to talking about the TEFL industry, teaching English as a foreign language interest, uh, industry, um, we have, for, for example, when designing a lesson, we have PPP, Presentation Practice Production, three. Uh, then we have TBL, task-based learning, mm. ESA, engage, activate, study, activate, TPR, total physical response, when to move around with the kids. Um, for example, in terms of politics, liberty, equality, fraternity for French, these are the, the three basic ideas. So think about that. When you um, have a speech, try to do it with your friends, for example. Yes, when you want to communicate something important, think about, think about three things that you can tell your friends and repeat these ideas. They will remember it. The same with your presentations or public speaking speech, etc. Yeah? Okay, let's move on. Um, first of all, obviously, you, when you start thinking about your presentation, there are several factors that you need to take into consideration. A clear ob ob objective is fundamental, yeah? Start with the end in mind. So what is it that I want my, my audience to know? This is the end. So then stru start structuring your presentation from the end to the beginning. Ask yourself these four questions. Why were you asked to speak? What do you want people, me to say? What does your audience expect? What is it that you want them to take on board from you? Do you want them to convince them of something? Yeah. What are the most important points that you want the audience to take away with them? 
this the list of three three ideas okay repeat them once you have a clear objective then it's important to structure your presentation so my suggestion is write down the main message of your presentation your objective after that develop a basic structure. Okay, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, or I'm going to talk about this, this, and this, three. Per section, beginning, middle, and end, drill down, yes, write down some other ideas, individual points that you want to make. And then think about this. Once you have everything more or less prepared, read, Two questions. Oh, yeah. Does it make sense? Is it logical? And then if you think that is not, go back, move things around, maybe add, trim, and start again. Okay? So this is my little um, help, let's say, or advice to you. All right. Let's move on. It's very important that you get to know your audience, yeah? There are different types of audience. More senior people, more younger people, peers. Think about the language. This different type of audience will have an effect on the language that you are going to use with them. Are you going to use more formal language, more informal language, yes? And anticipate, I, I mentioned this before, anticipate questions and answer them in your speech. Once you finish preparing your presentation, think about this. What is it that my audience is going to ask me? Okay, and then you can write down possible questions and then possible answers. All right, obviously it's not as impossible to anticipate every question, but at least the most obvious one. All right. So you have an objective, you have a structure, then you know the audience. Now we have to think about how to give your presentation. Yeah. And I call it the art of story, uh, storytelling, yeah, your speech. Why is important storytelling? Because uh, uh, if you remember in Steve Jobs' presentation, he was telling a story. He was telling about all the iPhone, all the wonderful things that, okay. So, because people don't remember data. They remember the story in which data plays a role. And the key uh, to storytelling is that you will, um, have an emotional experience, oh, sorry, you will make the audience have an emotional experience, yeah? Touch their hearts. Uh, and when you describe a story that happened to you, can be personal, an anecdote, or somebody else's story, then you uh, the audience will create visuals, yeah? Images in our brains, and they will remember better. So, my advice to you is this. Immerse your audience in the story. Obviously, the story has to have a purpose, the purpose of your presentation, yeah? Um, tell a personal story, yeah? Create suspense. Bring characters to life. Show, don't tell. Build up to star moment. Star means something they always remember. If you tell them a story, they will remember. If you tell them data, numbers, figures, they won't remember unless they have an impact, okay? And then end up with a positive takeaway. It's like when you tell your friends, oh yeah, yesterday I went to a great presentation. Oh, what did you learn? This, this, and this, perfect. Yes, you need to tell what you uh, learn from your presentation. Okay, 
let's move on. Okay, also, we need a good layout. Yeah, we have in usually in our presentation, we have bullet points. Yeah, but my suggestion is use text occasionally. Yeah, we the audience don't have time to listen to you and then read the information on the slide if they are full of bullet points and information. We don't have time to do this. So my suggestion is just phrases and then do the speaking, speak, yeah? Transitions and animations are okay, but don't overuse them because if not, then it will seem like um, a childish presentation. And remember, you are university students now, so. Yeah, it's a bit more formal. Something that I mentioned last Friday, practice makes perfect. So if you want to deliver a good message, you need to rehearse extensively. Practice, practice, practice. Listen to yourself talking, and then this will effectively cement the argumentation in your mind. Video record yourself. Ask a friend to listen to you and give you constructive feedback. Yeah. Have a strong start. Yeah. Uh, usually, first impressions count. So the audience wants to like you and you would like your audience. So, establishing rapport for a few minutes, especially at the beginning, is important in your presentation. As Steve Jobs has done, walk the talk, walk. Don't sit behind the table or the podium. Walk around, yeah? You will, you will feel more empowered, more relaxed, and also you will look more relaxed, okay? Have eye contact with the audience, yeah? Trying to look um, at individual people. Yeah, not just to like this, like a scan the room. Obviously online is a bit more difficult, but we can have eye contact as well with the people in the audience, yeah? And don't forget to smile, yeah? Smile is a very powerful tool to have rapport with the people. And never, ever, ever turn your back to the audience, okay? to look at the screen. You should know what's going on on your screen because you made the presentation, so you should know, right? And keep the lights on. Uh, I know that some people are in some presentations, they turn the light off, but if you turn the light off, first, the focus is on your presentation, not on you, and it should be on you not on the PowerPoint. And also, if you turn the lights off, it's like, ooh, people want to fall asleep, yeah? So the attention should be on you instead, not in the PowerPoint, so the audience can not see you clearly, all right? Okay, I have a, do you have any questions so far? If you have any questions, you can, turn on your microphones, unmute, or write it down on the chat box. No? No questions? Silakan pertanyaan yang mau disampaikan mengenai ini ya. Teknik dalam presentation. Questions, questions, questions. Ada kesempatan. No? All right. Okay, let's move on. Um, okay. I want to talk about visuals today. What do you think? Do you think they are important for our presentation? Please write yes or no on the chat box very quickly. A Y or an N if you want. Okay, we have an answer here. Uh, some people say yes, very important, okay. Yeah, penting ya. Okay. Gambar 
yang ada di apa untuk presentation atau yeah. mungkin atau tidak some other people somebody thinks the opposite could be a good idea to think about the opposite or to hear no very important somebody says okay all right so so far yes we agree very important thank you uh, okay it's very important important all right okay so we more or less agree yeah we agree that visuals are important okay so here's a task for you guys and this is where we are going to put them in breakout rooms okay i would like you to read the following give me a second i would like you to read the following worksheet uh, let me see yes here can you see my screen visual aids yeah worksheet number two i think you were sent this document and in your group i would like you somebody says Okay, break rooms. Okay, breakout rooms. Yes, somebody, um, you should have this. It's worksheet number four. Yes, uh, is it number four? Yes, no, worksheet number four, exactly. So here you have some statements, 16 statements about PowerPoint slides. And I'd like you in your groups, read all the statements and decide whether you agree or disagree with them. For example, the presentation handout should not be the same document as the presentation slides. Yeah, do you think you need in your presentation, do you think you need to give the audience a document with other information that it shouldn't be the same as the presentation that you have uh, in PowerPoint. Well, do you agree or you disagree? And why, why not? Yeah, you have to give a reason. So I would like you to uh, be in this breakout rooms and I will give you, let's say seven minutes, yeah, to discuss um, these statements. Is that okay? Sh um, Sophie or Gentry, I, I don't really know how to uh, put the students in breakout rooms. So if you can help okay. me here or if you have them yeah. prepared. Uh, I will ask Pak Edi no and Pak Arif, tolong di ini dibagi ke breakout rooms ya Pak. Ya, yeah, breakout room. Yeah. Minta tolong bosnya di... Patricia, how many rooms? Do, uh, let do me see how many people. Uh, let me see how many people are there. Um, just we have 33, 33, I don't know how many students are there, but we are Maybe thirty-three six, six people. Room, six room, six rooms. Six rooms. Okay. Okay. Six rooms. Okay. Make me Make me Kenapa host? Kok suaranya kresek pak ya? Hostnya dipindah ke admin dulu. Hostnya pindah ke admin. Patricia, can you change the admin to? Yes. Uh, yeah. Let me see how to do yeah. this. Sorry, I'm I'm not uh, very familiar with um, Zoom. So how can I stop the um, being host somebody is the co-host uh, uh, Eddie gimana I, cara stopnya Pak Eddie settingannya gimana Pak Oke okay, klik kanan klik kanan di bagian menu partisipan kemudian Eddie okay. diubah menjadi host Oke okay. klik 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 enggak kalau, kalau Mas Arif yang jadi hostnya bisa enggak karena Patri itu Miss Patricia nggak bisa bagi ke dalam break room itu. Yang bisa yang bisa itu host. 
di sini oh, tadi ya. di, dialihkan ya dialihkan. Oh, dialihkan. Mantap. Can you click on the right and then as a participant? Ya, yeah, as the participant and then move to ke Pak Edi dulu. Komputernya yeah. error punya saya. Ke Edi Sutiono. Yes, move Edi Sutiono. Jadikan host. And then change as the host. Can you do that now? The participant for Edi Sutiano as the host. Yeah. Kak Ria masih percaya ini nih sinyalnya juga ini. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, of course. Sorry. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes. Can you do that? Uh. I can I I can I can put them yeah. in uh, breakout rooms, but randomly, not with their own. Oh yes, random. Here I can say, for example, okay. six groups, mm. two people, and uh, let me see. You put random, did you? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do an yeah, experiment, okay. guys. I have the opportunity to uh, for you to choose your room and i guess you are divided into groups yes yeah already uh, for, for the group one already belong to the group one there are five students and then the group two also five students mm -hmm. group one six students and then group two and groups two group six consists of five students for each group Okay, um, here I have the possibility. Let's, let's see. Uh, yeah. This is kind of um, an experiment, okay? I'm going to send you everybody to the groups. Let's see how, what, okay. how it works. Okay, one, two, three. We are creating... Uh, ah, okay, right. Um, Okay, I have to do it manually, and I don't know the name of the students. So I don't really know how to stop being a host. I'm so sorry about this. I'm not very techy when it comes to Zoom. Um, okay, or I can... Okay, Arif, you are the host now. Edi, tadi jadi nggak pindahkan ke host ke Pak Edi tadi? Edi ya tadi ya. Yeah. Edi nah, or Pak Arif. Ya, yeah, kalau mau dibuatkan sudah bisa saya buatkan ini. Ini uh, Mrs. Patricia yeah, atau saya yang. Saja. Enam grup ya. Ya, enam grup. Nanti siswanya masuk berdasarkan grupnya. Oke, oke, siap. Oke, oke. Ya. Mempetis ya? Yes. Edi Sutiono. Rumahnya sudah jadi. Silakan, silakan masuk ke masing-masing yes. room. We have made the okay. breakout room. Students, please join the breakout room. Choose yours. Join now. Thank you very much. Oh, dia ada ininya sendiri. Usually ya. takes a minute to so. Ya. Okay, are you Widya Bella? Please join the break room for the other who still on the. Okay, some people are in the breakout rooms. Mm -hmm. Catherine, Desi, Eko Susanto, please join now. Join the break room based on the group that selected. Meriza, not yet. Wahyu Akbar. Bella Kurniasi. <laughs> okay, go on. Excellent. <laughs> mm. 
Good job, ladies. Islam, you're in a breakout room. Isla, Faiza, Desi, Catherine, Bella, Ayu. Have join the breakout room. Come on, Bella. Do you hear me? Are you yes, ma'am. Okay, join the breakout room, please. Bella, Desi, Faiza, Isla. Desi, come on. Faiza, Isla. Videonya coba di on kan, jangan di ini di off. Um, excuse me, ma'am. So yes. which one? Which room that I should be enter? Based on your group. Sorry, ma'am, I can hear you. In your in your group. Yeah. I think the original. Yeah, you can choose. Click the room. One of the group. Uh, okay, okay choose one of them. It's okay. Come on, Faiza. Are you still here, Faiza? I don't know what to do, ma'am. <laughs> Join. Choose one of the brick out room. Can you see the brick out room in your no. laptop or your mobile phone? No. Please join. No, ma'am. I don't know. Join. Where is it? I don't know. You don't know. See the label break out room on your PC. Faiza, still confused in joining the breakout room? Yes, I don't know where is the breakout room. <laughs> if it is by using PC, do you join with mobile phone or computer? Faiza. Mm -hmm. Mobile phone, ma'am. Mobile phone below live. You see the breakout room. Click. There is the good live and then you click. Yeah, directly. You can see yeah. breakout room now. Ada. Aiza, room berapa? Saya masukkan saja. Kamu grup dua. Boleh apa saja dimasukkan. Grup dua. Grup dua. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to get into the other rooms to see what people are doing. Okay. Okay, okay, continue, Patricia. Yes, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> it's uh, maybe it's the first time for the students to use the big art room. <laughs> so it takes time too long. Yeah. Waste the time. Okay, okay. No what what? No what what? No what what? <laughs> ini sepi ini sudah pada kabur ini. Iya, aku kadang sinyalnya ini jelek di sini yuk. Jadi aku kadang stop video ya. Ini di luar nah. Mati ini, yang penting suaranya kan ini. Iya, mati ini yang lebih baik. Karena kan paket data, yuk. Iya. Iya. Ini ngirim pesan ke semua. Oh, jadi lari-lari gitu mereka tuh. Aku udah bisa nyingok. Iya, iya. Karena aku tidak ada ini lagi, Pak. Apa? Tidak ada host lagi di sini. Hostnya sudah dialihkan. Hostnya sudah dialihkan ya. Oh, dibatasi memang, Pak ya. Market. Balik. Kita terus lom ya, ramai buat. Bawa paket lepas. Bukan terima lagi, bertujuh dia terima. 
itu desi wasnya itu nggak masuk masuk di gangguan sinyal kan? saya nggak bisa masuk ke breakout room ya? Bisa langsung. Bisa ke... langsung aja masuk di break room pilih mana roomnya. Oh iya, jadi pilih room masuk situ. Oh join, oke. Okay. Nggak tahu baru langsung. pertama soal okay. pakai ini. Jadi mas Mia ini mau ditaruh di rumah mana? Baru Desi. masuk dia. Desi Wasnia baru masuk. Desi Wasnia baru masuk. Ini mau di masukkan di rumah mana? Baru join Pak. Iya baru join. Nah. Kayaknya kena sinyal. Kayaknya kena sinyal dia. Isla Latifah juga. Desi dengan Isla. Oke Isla Latifah yang belum. Barin pakai PC atau anu HP? Lagi kayak ini lagi. Isla Isla di rumah mana Isla? Ini lagi pindah, lagi diomongin, langsung pindah, lah hilang lagi. Lepo kenang room satu eh, selamat itu. Isla ya, oke. Lagi yang mau sebut senangnya, nggak ada yang main ngobrol di sini. Kok di sini mau pada join sih? Lagi proses, lagi proses masuk. 60 detik ya. Ah masuk lah. Is everybody coming to the main room? Okay, good. Okay, everyone, good. Okay, we have some people coming. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we're back. Very good. Everyone's back. All right. So, um, what I would like you to do is tell me, I'm going to call you per groups, group number one, group number two, group number three, four, five, and six, and tell me 
one phrase that you agree with. Okay, so group number one, one person in group number one, yeah? Could you please let us know one statement that you agree with all together in your group? I don't know who, who was in group number one? Now one, 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 one. Group pertama, siapa? Somebody in group number one? Ayo, ayo, uh, group pertama. We have Astri, Eko, Isla, yeah. uh, Lisa, Wahun. Yes, yes. Astri from group one. Okay, right. So could you please tell me one statement that you agree with, Astri? Mm. Uh, all together, huh? Just one, ma'am. Yes, one statement that you agree with. Mm -hmm. uh, number two. Okay, can you read it, please? Uh, number two, it's okay if there are English spelling mistakes on a slide as an as no one expect me to be perfect. Okay, do you agree with this? Yes, I is it agree. Okay to have, is it okay to have spelling mistakes in your presentation? Yes. Yeah? Uh, Yes, I agree because, okay. because uh -huh. there are a few mistakes that might be understand, understandable, but it is better that there are no writing errors so that it's pleasing to the eye. Okay, all right. But let me tell you something, Asri. Um, there shouldn't be any spelling mistakes. So uh, I know English yeah. is not your mother tongue. It's okay, but you should revise and check and check and check and check before your presentation. It's very important that you don't have spelling mistakes, okay? Oh, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> be careful with that. All right, people in, thank you very much for your contribution. And uh, people in uh, group number two, we have uh, Ayu, Faiza, Marisa, Riska and Salsabila. Um, could you please, Tell me or tell us one phrase that you agree with. Number three, miss. Okay, can you read it please? You should not use too many colors. Okay, all right, why do you think that? Because in my opinion, if we use too many colors, it looks like childish and too much. Okay, uh-huh, right, uh -huh. yeah. I agree with you. Yes, maybe two or three colors maximum. Yeah, and the same colors. So you have a, a more professional attitude. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much for your contribution. Group number three, we have Desi and uh, Muhammad. Are they here? Desi or Muhammad? No? Okay. Room number, uh, group number four, we have Sissy, Erika, Aries, Putri, and Yeti. Do we have them? Are we, are you here, guys? Yeah, are you here? Well, yeah. I can see Sissy, can I see Erika, yes. Do you want to read something that you agree with? or write on the chat box if you are shy and you don't want to speak. No, silent, okay. <laughs> All right. They still prepare for the answer. Ah, yeah, preparing, okay, good. They take their time, good. Thank you, Marisa, Marisa. Yeah, okay. And then we have group number five. We have Ayu, Dora, Elsa, Sifrian. Yes, guys? Uh, from group number five, I think we agree with the five uh, 
Yeah, yeah, five steps, man. Okay, like can you read it? Please? Use visual materials to support the message and not to give the message. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think visual is just an addition to make the audience focus to our material. And uh, the point is we, we present it by, by ourselves. Absolutely. Not by the the visual effect. Visual effect. Exactly, exactly. Visuals are that, visual aid, a help, yes? But you shouldn't base your presentation on the PowerPoint or the visuals. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what about, uh, we have room six, the group six, Bella, Chatrin, Elizabeth, Patri, and Solita. Or Solita. Yes, guys, do you want to share? Something that you agree with? Okay. Ayo kelompok berikutnya. All right. Well, okay. So thank you very much for your contributions. Um, then I have two other tasks or three other tasks for you to do post session, yes? And I think it will give you lots of opportunities to practice your presentations and to practice vocabulary, phrases related to your presentation. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you and I'm going to share and show you um, something that I would like you to do for homework or for task at home. In worksheet number five, you have the stages of a presentation. Yeah, something that we have discussed. I would like you to identify the sequence by putting the following stages in the correct order from one to four. For example, she gives the message or the conclusion. She says what the most important part is. She draws the audience attention to the diagram. And she explains the matrix, the, the idea in general terms so that the audience can become familiar with it. So which one do you think it could be the first part of the presentation? She explained the matrix in general terms so that the audience can become familiar with it. Exactly. So here, this is the number one, all right? And then... Uh, she draws, uh, she draws yeah. the audience attention to the diagram. Uh huh. Correct. Uh, the third, she says, she says what the most important part is, and the fourth, correct. she gives the message or conclusion. Fantastic, Asri. Fantastic. All right. So, having this in mind, yes, very good. Um, for homework or at home, or you can do it in your groups, or you can do it individually. Okay, and um, decide this. Here you have 20 phrases that you can use in your presentations, yeah? Um, decide what, what the stage number is it, does it belong to? Is it the beginning, the middle, or to draw the audience attention to a, dry, a diagram, a, a visual, uh, numbers, figures, etc. The most important part or the end of it, okay? So read these 20 phrases. For example, I like to focus our presentation on something. Which one do you think, which stage do you think it is? Is it number one, number two, three or four? Oh, yeah. I like to focus our presentation on this. Is it the beginning, the middle, the end? Maybe the third. Maybe that? The, uh, the stage of third. The third. third, number three? Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> oh. no. Number two? Mm. Number one. I'd like to focus our presentation on oh, okay. number the body. One. 
Well, number one. Uh, number, number one. Number one, exactly. Oh, yeah, this is a phrase that you would use, yeah, when you start your presentation. I would like to focus our presentation on speaking in professional context, for example. Or I would like to focus our presentation on body language. So my whole presentation is going to be about body language, okay? All right, so uh, at home, yes, later on, you can read the next 19 phrases and you can decide whether it is one, two, three, or four, okay? Um, next class, or maybe this week, I can send Gentry the answers, okay, to these uh, phrases, okay? So you can correct yourself. And two more things, and then I'll let you go. You have worksheet number six is the organization, is the language of presentations, yeah? I would like you also to decide whether these expressions that you have over here yeah, belong to introducing the topic and giving an overview, emphasizing a main point, giving an example, making a transition between ideas, closing and paraphrasing. Remember that last Friday, I told you that it can be difficult to give a presentation in English because English is not your mother tongue, your first language. So you might feel a bit anxious. So these phrases that you have over here will help you, if you put them in your presentation, will help you feel more relaxed, more in control, yeah? Uh, so I would like you to do this. I know I've sending, uh, I'm sending you a lot of things to do. I'm so sorry about that, but I think it's a good idea for you to have the language to use when you have to give a presentation, when you have to give a speech, when you have to talk to a university professor or when whatever, okay? And the last one, and this is just the video, um, the video about the stand like a starfish. As I said, this is a video, two, three minutes. Uh, Amy Cardi, I think her name is, uh, she's a scientist. And she explained in three minutes why standing like a starfish, it's extremely important and will make you feel empowered when before your presentation, your speech, or an important event in your life. Can be anything, if you, even if you get married or whatever, okay? All right. So, guys, I would like you now, this is the moment for ta -da -ta -ta, quest, oh, sorry, questions and answers. So my question is, do you have any questions for me? Are you interested in something? Do you have any questions? Something that is not clear? You can write on the chat if you don't want to speak, or you can unmute yourselves and speak. Okay, students, boleh ditanyakan kalau ada yang tidak jelas mengenai homework and then your thought uh, nya untuk minggu depan. Don't be shy, just speak. Yeah, if you have any questions, something that is not very clear. Yeah, well, if you don't have any questions, you can, or you can think of, or you cannot think of any questions now, you can email me if that's okay with you, Sophie and Gentry, to hello at excelmentoring.com and I will be delighted to answer your questions, okay? Just in case you don't want to ask any questions now or maybe you need time to process the information, read the worksheet, do the activities, watch the video. Um, 
I'll be delighted to answer your questions afterwards. All right? Yeah, um, okay. Yes? Um, and I'm going to kalau ada pertanyaan atau apa namanya about ini ya the materialnya itu bisa dihubungi melalui teman kauri karena member kita ini adalah seorang mentor jadi dia uh, buka akses untuk kalian bertanya ya oke okay. ini kami ini mentor oke Right, so if you don't have any questions, I yeah. think um, I've done for today. So, yeah. Shofi, yeah? yeah? We still have one meeting for speaking for professional contact. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Next Sorry. week. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> so it, yes. Ah, really? Oh, okay. Well, I yeah. hope you get better then. All right. Yeah, next week, Next week, guys, we are going to... What do you think? It's our third meeting and we are going to talk about finish with a bang. Yeah, we talked of yeah. the first meeting. We talked about the beginning, exactly. Today we talk about the body. And next Friday, we're going to talk about finish with a bang. With a bang. Yeah, it's like, wow. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Try to do the worksheets, yes. Um, I will send you the answers for worksheet uh, five and six. Yes, try to watch the video. I think it's very educational and you will learn a lot. And the most important thing is put it into action. Try to do it yourself. Whenever you have an important event in your life, the starfish, all right? <laughs> okay, and that's it for me. So it was a pleasure okay. as usual. Thank you very much for your participation for breakout rooms. I think maybe, Shofi, um, next Friday at the beginning, we should yeah. have the breakout rooms ready. Uh, oh, so yeah. everybody people, knows, everybody they, knows uh, where to go. Break, breakout rooms in the free. Our exactly. Free you can, right. yeah, you, we, we can prepare this, the, the people in advance, prepare the, um, create the breakout rooms in advance before the class um yeah. yeah and that's it okay okay thank you very much for your participation for your time in Patricia and also our students and then remember about next meeting yeah we must uh have many attractive learning yeah participating in this lesson okay thank you very much and thank you, you thank meeting. you everybody okay all right. Thank you very much. Bye, people. See you next Friday. And um, I wish you a good week. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Have a great day. Bye. You too. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Miss Patricia. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Terima kasih, operator. Bye-bye. See you next <laughs> Friday. Bye. Bye. See you next Friday. Gagalnya <laughs> kelambu itu siapa itu? Elisa. Kelambunya itu. <laughs> <laughs>